Hey everybody, Ronaldo Offman here with Pangolin Laser Show Designer Beyond Video Manuals. I'll just call it Beyond Video Manuals for short. In this video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the overall layout as we delve more and more into the program. So there's quite a bit in Beyond, and one of the things that I like about Beyond is that I personally like the layout of it a little bit more than Quick Show. One of the very first things that you'll note, especially if you used Quick Show before, is that in Beyond, everything is directly to the left. Now, I personally like that a little bit better because I can just go ahead and see everything in one shot. So right now we have everything in all. So I have all the different graphics, and the graphics has been highlighted with green, so it's easy to tell. And then actual atmospherics, such as the sheets, cones, wave beams, whatnot, everything's on here. I can edit it if I want to. This is very similar to Quick Show because I can go into the edit, the synthesized image, now this is where Beyond gives you a heck of a lot more options because of course you can choose you know your color, your speed, uh, even the beam power and all this we're going to cover in video by video but all your different stuff is on here right down to energy or to me the time and beat shift. So you can even of course you know have everything go directly to the beat. Uh, so a lot of different stuff and I'm going to do a video specifically on the image synthesizer. If you want to see it live you can just click on the show output. If you are programming and you don't have your laser with you, you could always use a little LED projector or regular video projector and use Emu laser as well. So it's a really nice way of being able to see everything. You can also go into your Q properties, again, very similar to Beyond, but, or excuse me, to Quick Show, but there's going to be a few more options and we're going to cover those in a different video as well. Now, on this part here, the top menu, again, very similar. We've got grid. You've got the timeline option, which is really cool. And you even have a playlist. This should be very similar to a lot of you guys that have done this via DMX. We're going to go over all that later on as well. And you'll see that the timeline also does AV media as well. So you can add your laser track. You can add your AV media track. So this means that you could use this to run video, music, and laser Okay, so when I click on select, it allows me to select a clip, but it doesn't actually activate it. This is good in case I need to just go in here and edit anything. You'll see, for example, with this animation of the rabbit, we've got two different types of editing. We can edit the frames. So we can edit frame point by point by point. And tons of different options over here as well, way more than what QuickShow is going to give you. And then there's the advanced version. And again, we're going to cover all that much later on as far as how that works. After select, we have our toggle. Now, as it says, click it on cues. We'll start playing them. Clicking again, we'll stop them. So we're just going to click over here. Whoops. We're going to click. If I stop it, there it goes. Now, we have restart. And basically, restart means that when I click it, it doesn't stop it. It just restarts it. Pretty obvious there. Flash. Common sense with flash is. Basically, when I click it, it momentarily holds it there until I let go. Flash solo is something that I really like. So again, let's say right now we have this turkey right here. But we have the heart, and as long as I hold on to it, the heart is there. Oops. As soon as I let go, it goes right back to the turkey. So if we're doing, let's say, an abstract, you know, bass drops, bam, bam. Turkey. Bam, bam. Now it doesn't look as cool with a turkey. So let's uh let's do the stars, right? Oops. Stars. Then you've got, you know, the songs building up. Da -na 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 -na. Ba -ba 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 -bum. You know. So again, that's pretty cool too. Uh, of course you got uh, option for transitions and no transition. So if we don't have transition, it really jumps from one to the other. With the transition, you'll see the laser kinda Transitions, I really don't know the way to do it. Uh, then, of course, we've got our one Q and multi Q. One Q, again, we can run one thing at a time. Multi Q allows us to run multiple things at the same time. And you will see here that it's going to show you what is running. All right, and then I can go over here and I can select the colors. And, of course, it controls everything in one spot. But when I click on here, it shows me where it's at currently. So I can take this and I can pause it. I can restart it. I can shut it off. You got to make sure you have a laser with a really good scan rate to be able to do a multi-queue. 
And let's go back to one key over here. And then, of course, we've got our back buttons here, and as explains, this clicks on our previous queue. So again, we go over here, bam, previous queue. It's almost like a undo button. The swap button goes between this, uh, the two basic queues. So we've got Q1, and then we click on Q2. The swap will go back and forth. Virtual LJ is basically a virtual laser jockey, and there is actually a page already with stuff that you know they've made that goes well with it. So we have statics, and it says great with LJ. So when you hit the LJ button. It's going to go amongst different ones depending on the beat and the music and everything that's coming in. So that's pretty neat the way that works. We've got our blackout button, our pause, our laser disable. On this side over here, we've got our preview options. And we have our dynamics, lots of different options. This is where Beyond goes way, way beyond, no pun intended, uh, quick show. We have our different transitions that we can do. I mean, seriously, look at that. The trim left there. It's, it, it's really almost like different video cues. And, of course, you can choose your duration. So let's say we go over here. Let's go to, like, one second. Bam, look how cool that is. Right? Of course, you can have it where it goes to the beat. So depending on how fast the beat is, the song will change along with it. I think that's pretty neat. So, again, play around with the transitions and see which one you like the best. But again, lots of really cool options you can do. Kind of wish they had a random on that one, to be honest with you. Uh, on channels, again, different options for your channels. We're going to cover all this and how that works. Uh, time control, again, pretty much time code. So we could tie this to time code. And if the, you know, depending on how it works, if the DJ is scratching, you can have the lasers go along with it. A lot of good possibilities with that, considering a lot of DMX software, um, video software, all work off time code. Different effects, live control options, these you should be familiar with. We've got our position and rotation, color, brightness, our visible points, animation speed. And a lot of this, whenever I'm busking shows, again, most of our shows are live. So I already have this mapped to DMX and, or MIDI so I can easily control everything. We've got uh, you know different master options, Pango script, we'll cover all that. If you guys are familiar with uh, for example, Virtual DJ, you can write script to have the program do whatever you want as far as through MIDI control. It, it works very similar to that, and I kind of like it as a comparison because it really shows how powerful that is. So that is the overall interface of Beyond. On the bottom, this is some of the real cool stuff that we have. We have quick text, quick shape, quick trace, and we're going to go over all that in another video as well, uh, especially the quick effects and the workspace and all that and how that works, the audio in it. Now, the version of Beyond that you may have may look slightly different than mine. I got my version before they did all the different versions in there. I got mine, you know, as a uh, one of the show specials they had going on. But they do have a couple different versions of Beyond. We'll talk about that in a video later on if you would like as well. Um, look at the website, see the version that you like, and what's going to fit your needs the best. But again, my name's Arnaldo Offerman. Once my lasers uh, come in, because I got a couple little things changed on my lasers. Once they come in, I'll do some videos on that. I'm also going to do videos on different lasers so we can compare and contrast and find what laser is going to work best for you, your needs, your budget, and what your clients want. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and look for the page on Facebook that I've created, the user support group where we can all help each other. The link is below. Thanks so much for watching. Good night and God bless.